Hey friends! It's been two months since we started this podcast series. Praise be to God that nakakasampung episodes na po tayo. This podcast is available on Spotify, Apple, and Google Podcasts. At kahit po sa YouTube nyo ay mapapakinggan nyo din ang podcast na ito. Just search Life in Love Podcast and all episodes will be there. I hope you won't get tired hearing this but I want to thank you for your time to listen to this. May God continue to be revealed in every episode that we share and it's all for His glory. How can we share the gospel to people? How can we steer a conversation that will share the wonderful offer of Christ to come to Him? I really thank this technology that, even from afar, we are able to meet friends and fellow believers in Christ who have the same passion, and that is to share the gospel to the world. And because of this, I am so grateful for the opportunity to share 5 hours gospel presentation written by Pastor Kyle Quevedo. There are 5 hours that present the message of the gospel. These five points are not steps that necessarily have to be in order, but a set of theological abstracts that can help the person to clarify the message of the gospel. I hope and pray that this episode will further give us enlightenment why the gospel is so important. Ano-ano po yung mga five R's? They are rebellion, ruin, redeemer, repentance, and reconciliation. Rebellion. Ano po ito? Ito po ang sin. When God said, do not, ang sasabihin naman natin ay, I will do as I please. And in Romans 3 verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Sin is rebellion. Ito po yung willful disobedience to God. Sin rejects truth and instead po na tayo ang nagbibigay ng glory sa Creator, we decide to worship creation. And sin takes the place of God. Kasi ang Diyos dapat ang nangunguna sa buhay natin. But we asserted our own rebellious ways instead. Ruin. Ito po yung consequence ng rebellion. Since we tried to live as the gods of our lives, we now reap the consequences of our inability to be the god of our lives. Sabi po sa Isaiah 64 verse 6, We have all become like one who is unclean, and all our righteous deeds are like a polluted garment. We all fade like a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, take us away. Dahil hindi natin kayang maligtas ang sarili natin at hindi natin kayang itama ang mali, we are trapped in our own misery and much worse, we are recipients of God's wrath, ang poot o galit ng Diyos. How can we describe it? Number one po, ruin a separation from God. We run away from God at tinatago natin ng shame. Katulod po ng first parents natin, si Adam and Eve. We are not welcome anymore in His presence. Number two, ruin us trying to function as God. Since we rebelled against God, we have rejected Him as God and we are assuming the role of being the gods of our lives. Gusto natin tayo po yung masusunod. We follow our heart's own desire. Number three, ruin as being justly recipients of the wrath of God. Dahil nga po nag tayo sa ating Diyos because of sins, we have earned ourselves the due penalty for our rebellion. And number four, ruin as a hopeless situation wherein we are in the endless cycle of rebellion and ruin. Paulit-ulit na lang ang cycle. Our minds are foolish and we are dead in our sins. Kaya po pag naintindihan natin ang extent of our rebellion and ruin, it will lead us to know that we need help outside of ourselves. Ang sabi nga, hindi natin kaya. We need the Redeemer who can save us. At yan po ang number three, Redeemer. As we are trapped in our own misery, God in His goodness and because He loves us, he sent us a Redeemer. 
the perfect Redeemer, for He Himself became man and redeemed His people perfectly. Ang Panginoong Jesus po ang ating perfect Redeemer. In 1 Corinthians 1 verse 22 to 24, it says, For indeed, Jews ask for signs and Greeks search for wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified. To Jews, a stumbling block, and to Gentiles, foolishness. But to those who are the called, both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. So we need a Redeemer that will be able to restore us in what was lost in the image of God in man. At salamat po sa kabutihan ng Diyos that our Redeemer is Christ, the Son of God, the second person of the Trinity. Bakit po ang Panginoong Jesus lang ang may kakayahang makapagligtas sa atin? Number one po, yung birth niya. In Matthew 1 verse 21, it clearly says, that she will bear a son and shall call his name Jesus. For he will save his people from their sins. Born of a virgin birth, Jesus is fully God and fully human. He is the one and only mediator who can bear the weight of God's wrath in his humanity and earn for us and restore us righteousness and life. Number two, yung buhay ng Panginoong Jesus. Jesus lived a perfect life, and He is the only one who satisfied and fulfilled all the requirements of the law. He merited for us the righteousness that we need. Makikita po yan sa 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21. And number 3 po, yung kanyang kamatayan. Ang Panginoong Jesus ang namatay para sa atin. He shared in our suffering to the point of death. And he died as if he was cursed. And number four po, yung kanyang resurrection. Just like what we discussed in other episodes, Jesus defeated death. His victory against death is a promise of eternal life with him for those who believed in him. Pinakita po dito na mas makapangyarihan siya kaysa sa kasalanan at kamatayan. Number five, yung ascension ng Panginoong Jesus. Christ ascended to heaven and seated at the right hand of God para siya ang mag-intercede for His people. So when we are in Christ, there is no condemnation anymore. And number six, ang kanyang pagbabalik. Christ will return to judge the living and the dead. Yung perfection po ng ating Panginoong Jesus, ang nagpatunay na siya lang ang natatanging makapagbibigay ng kaligtasan sa lahat ng nananampalatay sa kanya. And yet, he remained gentle and lowly, and he'll say, Come! What a perfect savior that we have in Jesus! At ang pang-apat na R po ay repentance. In Matthew 11 verse 28, Come to me all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So the proper response to the goodness of God is gratitude. Aren't we thankful when someone is nice to us despite of our imperfection? Since hindi po natin deserve ang gift na may Redeemer tayo, the more we know God's goodness, it's the more we put our trust and confidence in Him. Yun po ang faith. When we think of God instead of us, we remove our faith in ourselves at ang next po ay we repent or nagsisisi tayo kasi alam na natin na hindi na tayo gods of our lives. Repentance is not only your being sorry of the sins you committed, but it is also turning away from our sins, which is yung po yung rebellion natin. Logically, faith comes first, but faith and repentance are two sides of the same coin. Why is that? Because we have put our faith in our own selves when we rebelled against God. But in repentance, we put our faith in Christ. At ang last po na R is reconciliation. In 1 Peter 3 verse 18, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh but made alive in the spirit. 
hindi po ba ang sarap ng pakiramdam na makakatagpo ulit natin ng ating Creator? The reconciled life is a life that we now enjoy being with God by the virtue of the ministry of Christ and the working of the Holy Spirit. Hindi na tayo against sa Kanya. We are no longer His enemies. We are reconciled because of Christ. May iba po nakakalungkot kasi naniniwala sila na ang salvation is by grace. Pero may kasamang works. O kaya yung mga naniniwala sa legalism. They separated the blessings of reconciliation apart from Christ. Friends, we are reconciled to God via our union with Christ. What a beautiful reason to celebrate the reality that we are now in Christ. And what should we do to celebrate this reality? Number one, let's rejoice in our salvation. Kahit po ang dami pa din ng suffering dito sa mundo, we can still rejoice in this truth that we are redeemed by Christ and we know that we belong to Christ. Number two, let's rest in the finished work of Christ. Kasi po may tendency tayo na ibalik agad ang mabuting nagawa sa atin by working for it. In Christ, we learn how to rest in His finished work kasi nga po done na siya. Kapag po bumalik sa gawa or do instead of done, we corrupt our repentance again and make it all about us again. Let's rest in His finished work. Number three, revere God. So we give God what is due Him and that is reverence. We no longer want to live as mockers like Titus 2.11-14. Sabi po doon, For the grace of God has appeared that offers salvation to all people. It teaches us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions and to live self-controlled, upright, and godly lives in this present age. And number four, how to celebrate this reality? Let's ready ourselves to serve God, God's way. Kasi po, we have a natural tendency to corrupt all good things. Kaya we need to prepare ourselves to follow God. Kung ano po ang gusto ng Diyos para sa atin. Let us uphold this word and be ruled by it and His Spirit. Ito po, very important. Bakit po kailangan nating maintindihan ang five R's? These five R's could help us present the gospel in a clear way and avoid the pitfalls of sharing gospel that is not really gospel. Number one pong reason. Kasi po some preach about a good redeemer and the hope of reconciliation pero ini-ignore ang extent of sin, its rebellion, and ruin. That is why they are preaching a gospel without the need of repentance. Number two, some preach so much about sin, its rebellion, and ruin, and preach repentance, pero na then neglect po yung grace. That is the Redeemer who saves. That is why they embrace a gospel that is basically just a guilt trip. Number three, some preach the gospel regarding sin, its rebellion, and ruin, and the Redeemer who is the solution to all the sin problem, but do not preach how personal repentance is. And so, they have a gospel that is only head knowledge, but not applied and personalized. It is one thing to believe that Jesus saves and to actually believe that Jesus is my Savior. Number four po, some can preach fully well the first four are, pero nagfe-fail po to instruct a new believer of what it means to live a reconciled life before God. Now that we understand the message of the gospel, it is highly recommended for us Christians to be part of a church or community of fellow believers that would faithfully remind us of the gospel. Kasi nga po, we forget the gospel every day. It is so important to be reminded of the gospel, our rebellion, ruin, and Jesus who is our Redeemer, and continuous life of repentance, and to celebrate this reconciled life, like-minded people as we wait for His return. 
Thank you friends for sticking with me this far. This is just a summary of the 5 R's Gospel Presentation. If you want to know more about this beautiful presentation, please feel free to message Pastor Kyle and he will be happy to help you. It is our prayer that we continuously seek His kingdom and be amazed by the goodness of God through His Son Jesus with the help and guidance of the Holy Spirit. Please share this with your friend if you are blessed. Thank you once again. God bless and to Him be all the glory.